Hi right, guys, a quick little message for those of you. You may have a lot of things going on for your, within your life. Regardless whether you have a lot of kids, you may be in school, you may have a job, and it's taking up a lot of your time. God's just interfering with you in your relationship with Christ. You do have to keep in mind, anything that you put before Christ um, can turn into idolatry. So basically, as you know, the Lord knows that we have things that's going on, the bills that need to be paid, things do need to be done. But in the process, we are also to make time for him, guys. So I just want to give like a few little tips that maybe that you can incorporate within your walk that will help you in being able to grow in the spirit and getting off into it until you are in a position to where you're able to spend more time with the Lord. You know, when you get up or you're going to school or you're going for work, I do recommend that you can get up perhaps, an, you know, an hour earlier to just spend time with the Lord, getting off into prayer. He may lead you to read some scriptures. For an example, the book of Proverbs is a very good book. It speaks of a lot of wisdom in general. You know, we, we want to be wise in Christ. So reading the book of Proverbs, just spending, spending, you know, 10 or 15 minutes in prayer, then reading a couple of chapters in the book of Proverbs and then spending another five or 10 minutes in prayer before you get ready to head off to work or wherever you may be. And through the afternoon, doing your lunch break, saying a prayer, even if it's just for five minutes and then getting back in the word, reading the Proverbs or, you know, something in songs that's going to help you because the, the book of songs is pretty encouraging. There are some things that I spoke of in the last video where you can tell how Dave was speaking in the victim mentality you do want to be careful of that but there are some things in the bible that you can read that is pretty encouraging that will help and then based on where you're at the lord he meets you where you're at and you're walking you know you you grow from there if you're an individual who may you know you sh you may not be into too much into the reading i'm going to leave a playlist of some songs that you can listen to and what i like about these songs is they're all biblical you know the the woman who's singing these songs she's singing what's in the book of Psalms. So, you know, if you're a person who struggles with praising, as you know, praising breaks chains, you can not only listen to the songs, it helps in renewing your mind, but it also, you know, motivates you in to be and being able to increase your praise. Because as you know, praising is a form of warfare when you're going through things. And I talked about that in Acts 16, Paul and Silas, they praised God and broke chains to see how doors came open. It's the same with us when we're going through things. And I made videos, guys, about how it's imperative that we praise so different things that you can just do throughout the day. Really, you know, a, prayer is key. I undergone a lot of situations in the past and during the time I wasn't into the Bible. I wasn't reading the Bible, but the only thing that I had was faith and prayer. You know, really tapping into prayer will really and truly help out in a lot of areas. You know, the Holy Spirit may lead you to read certain scriptures. The Holy Spirit has his ways of how he works with people based on where they are at in their walks. He does accommodate us. We, we come as we are and we grow. As we're surrendering, it is a matter of surrendering, guys. So throughout your day, you know, journaling, if there's things that you're holding on to that can be painful, writing things down, regardless whether it's through poetry or just writing. Also being mindful of the things that you may consume. During the time when I was going through a lot of th things through that um, testimony video I talked about, the first video on my channel, I don't, well, I'm not sure if I made known of this, but during that time, I wasn't really eating a lot of the right foods of course you know when it comes to, like to junk food fast food of course you want to eat something that is like more so towards the fruits and vegetables as opposed to a lot of processed foods that's really not good that will affect your energy guys so you know to just be mindful drinking more water throughout the day regardless whether you're doing a detox water or something to just work your way into it little by little until you begin growing more and more in the spirit and the lord's teaching you showing you more things you know as i said he meets you where you're at in your walk so different things tips that you can apply from your walk because the lord will accommodate us where we are at as i said guys and we grow from there the goal is to surrender more and more and as we're forsaking things we're laying down you know our flesh crucifying the flesh and growing in the spirit the more we're going to be elevating the more our mindset is going to change the more our attitude is going to change our our thought patterns, all those things are going to change. The things that we are perhaps worried and concerned with, we won't be so worried and concerned about. Our desires will begin to become like his desires and so on. So just some quick little things that hopefully you can apply within your walk that will help you in staying focused in Christ, keeping him first, guys. 
get up a little early because just as you eat breakfast, physical breakfast, you want to make sure you get your spiritual breakfast too. That's very imperative. So it is a matter of, you know, growing strong in the spirit. So pray you find this message to be helpful. Thank you for listening and you all be blessed.